that is dis, uh, made prepared, constructed by assembling the different lenses by the great scientist uh, Anton van Leeuwenhoek. And he observed in his microscope, he observed the very minute uh, things that means very very small things and that's why this is called microscope microscope means the device that is used to observe to see very very small things minute things and that cannot be seen by our naked eyes in our textbook uninocular is shown a compound microscope is there a compound microscope having single lens is called uninocular here are two eyepieces there are two uh, lenses in this eyepiece that's why it is called binocular bi means two now this binocular it is having the different parts see it is an eyepiece eyepiece it is having these two lenses then here is a tube and here is the objective there are three lenses th three objectives are there 10x 45x and 100x 10x uh, have it is having the 10 times magnification and 100x is also called oil immersion lens. Now, it is the stage. On this stage, there we have to keep the slide and this slide, if it is stained, then at that time, it has to be covered with the help of cover slip. Then, there are this coarse force knob and this fine force knob. Coarse knob, it helps to adjust the position of the stage up and down so that we can observe the same very easily to observe the minute things. And this coarse, the fine knob, fine knob is here for very fine adjustment very small adjust, adjustment so that if very small uh, adjustment is required for observing that microscopic thing then here is an illuminator and with the help of illuminator we can adjust the light and as it is uh, the advanced one, it can be uh, operated by using the electricity. And that's why we can do the work on the microscope at night also, in the daytime, in the room. It does not uh, need the sunlight only. And if there is no electricity, we have to observe them in the light. In this way, these are the parts of a microscope and microscope is very very essential to observe the microscopic things like cells, bacteria, then protozoa, viruses, but viruses can be seen only under the uh, electron microscope and the sizes of these cells or microscopic things they are measured in the units microns, micrometers and nanometers that we have studied earlier and uh, we can observe the different cell organelles as well as cell structures, the xylem and phloem uh, from the uh, parts of the uh, plants as well as all these things different bacterial cells, their motility, all these things can be observed in this microscope. It is very very useful. We can observe the malarial parasite 
as well as different uh, cell counts that can be done under the microscope only. Okay, it is used in pathological laboratories as well as uh, in the science laboratories for the further studies. Thank you.